Presidente Aubry. Per... President Aubry, on behalf of the GUI group, you have the floor. Monsieur le Président. Thank you very much, President. President von der Leyen, dear colleagues, in order to accurately describe the state of the Union and to chart the right political course, we need to be clear about the very serious situation which we're in. We need to be very frank when we look at this crisis, the COVID crisis, uh, the major companies that are making massive redundancies, having got rich off the back of the pandemic. We need to be very clear about the huge inequalities that are increasing. We see the 25 uh, richest people, uh, numerous amongst them Europeans, have seen their fortunes increase by billions between March and May. We also need to be very clear about the crisis in solidarity in the EU. We have a small number of tax havens that are pillaging from their neighbours by organizing industrial scale tax evasion. We also need to be very frank about the ecological crisis. There are more and more warning signs. We see increasing wildfires, heat waves occurring more and more just this week, in fact. We see biodiversity plummeting. We need to be very clear when it comes to the moral crisis that faces us. The EU needs to take a cold hard look at the situation it faces, the flames in Maria. We need to be frank about the rule of law, something that is fracturing the EU. Poland and Poland and Hungary continue to tread the path of authoritarianism where minorities are in danger. This lack of clarity is something that is terribly missing from the Commission's perspective. This crisis you appear not to see are affecting millions of men, women and children. These people were not able to elect you, but they do expect clear responses from you. There is uncertainty here. It is a privilege of leaders. It is unfortunately the daily life of our citizens. They don't just want to hear empty slogans. They cannot put up with any more of these contradictions. You have announced a new objective for reducing climate emissions. 55% you announced with a lot of pomp and circumstance. But we are well under the 65% that have been scientifically identified to respect the Paris Agreement. So how dare you weaken this objective further by then taking out uh, emissions from carbon uh, that are absorbed by carbon sinks, such as forests. In order to save humanity from the threat of climate change, we have to properly reduce our emissions, not just fiddle the numbers. You've talked about industrial sovereignty and independence, but you are still negotiating free trade agreements with Mexico, China, and Mercosur, amongst others. You say that you will review the budgetary control mechanism, but at the same time, those countries that benefit from the recovery plan will have to put in place many reforms based on austerity that nobody wants to see. You talk about resilience, new indicators for progress, but you are still focusing on growth at all costs. No one is fooled by this. It's the same thing time and time again, free trade, competition, austerity, these policies that have led us to the border of the abyss. In order to tackle the challenges that face us, we have to change everything. Our only focus should be the environment and social aspects. We need proper public planning, huge investment in transport infrastructure, I, putting in place insulation in buildings, for example. We need fiscal justice. We need to tax those people that have benefited from the crisis, those with the largest fortunes and the end of tax havens in Europe. President von der Leyen, you talked for around one hour, 20 minutes, and at no point did you mention tax justice, those who are richest in the EU, the tax havens that are wearing away social justice in the EU. We will not be able to change direction without a proper contribution from the European Central Bank. It needs to act now in the frame of an ambitious recovery plan where each euro of public money is conditioned with a social and environmental contribution. We can't simply give carte blanche to these large companies who are polluting, who 
are laying off massive numbers of people just to satisfy their shareholders. We need to be clear. We need to be frank. This huge transition isn't going to just happen by magic by us just hoping for the best, hoping that the market will magically sort out what it has destroyed. President von der Leyen, if you really want to move out of this period of uncertainty, you have to accept to change the old paradigms. Thank you. Grazie.